good morning YouTube I decided to uh, to move these two guys um, I got up this morning her this has uh, been a ton her fish should have been free swimming everyone should have been free swimming this morning there was a couple free swimmers yesterday uh, this morning when I got up there was no free swimmers no wigglers it was nothing so if you, you can see her uh, dorsal fin is a little ripped up because Red Tiger decided to now I'm blaming him on eating the uh, wigglers and free swimmers but this is the second time that these two have had wigglers at least and they came up missing so um, again she was hiding in the tank up at the top behind the uh, breeding box and he had occupied the log where the, the uh, free swimmers were. That's the second time that that happened as well. You know, when the when the um, free swimmers came up missing, she was hiding out, beat up, and he was occupying the log space. So yeah, I had to move them, separate them. Um, I'll give her a break, and I'll probably breed her, I guess, sometime at the beginning of the summer, June, another uh, month or so. I'll give her a shot, but I'm gonna wind up breeding her to uh, to Knucklehead, which is a half brother to her. Yeah, but she's a little beat up. Good thing I didn't go to work, cause he probably would have finished the off or beat her worse. So because I moved these two guys into this divided tank. This tank now has some new inhabitants. This is Blue Flame, hiding behind a log there, and Knucklehead here. I decided to move these two here. I'll see how they get along. Um, if they start attacking each other, then I'll move them into another divided tank, and uh, I'll make this tank a community tank until uh further notice yep and there's a blue flame there at the top you get a real good look at her and we'll head over here I'm gonna do a water change on this tank uh, later today. Of course, Benetton and Red Tiger made a mess of this tank. I still have a couple of Benetton and Red Tiger uh, fried here. Um, I know I've seen about three of them. They usually hide around in this area here. It should have been a total of 10 of them in here. Uh, I don't know where they all are, but I know this morning through moving I've seen 10 um, I'll probably leave them if uh, if they make it they make it you know I'm not going to go searching for them this again like I said this tank is uh been kind of trash with those last two you know I just did a water change like two weeks uh, I'm sorry two days ago on this tank and as you can see I have the debris floating and it's, it's a mess so I'm going to clean these sponge filters and uh, give the outside of the tank a real good, a real good scrubbing. Alright YouTube. And I wind up moving my little Amphilopha citronella grow outs off of uh, Triton and forget me not here so these the little guys here is like six of them in here and they didn't came in and completely took over this tank I mean they battling each other for uh, top dog you know so again I have my Eloensis and my big uh, Citronella's F1 um, Managua Rose Gold, she's there. But yeah, the uh, the little ones, they've been in here for about three or four days and 
man, they've been straight, just, they've been on each other, you know. They growing up to be about two inches now. But they completely took over this tank. The Eloenses I have in this tank, I believe, are all female. Um, the Midas may be a large group of males. And like I said, man, they battling each other like grown fish. To become the kings of this tank. Again, these are the six that I kept off of Triton and forget me not, double King Midas. Hi, YouTube. Peace.